back everyone we're talking about reviving ourselves um and inviting god to revive us in our relationship with him uh, and today we are going to look at character when we talk about the lord jesus we see that uh, he represented the father exactly uh, in hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3 we read who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high so jesus is the brightness of god's glory and he's the very express image of god it simply means that the lord jesus was like the father in his character as well as in the power that he demonstrated through his life and through his ministry now talking about ourselves uh, we who believe in the lord jesus now we are supposed to be representing the lord jesus fully in his character uh, the apostle john he wrote in 1 john chapter 4 in verse 17 he said uh, as he is so are we in this world so we understand that we are to be the representatives of jesus uh, or uh, we could also put it this way that we are to be representatives of the godhead and the nature of the godhead however um, as believers we are aware that uh, we come under the pressures of the world the temptations of the evil one and also the appetites of our flesh so uh, it is possible for us to give in to these things such that we don't represent christ in his fullness paul in fact wrote to the galatian church and he encouraged them to not give in to the works of the flesh instead to demonstrate the fruit of the spirit i just like to list out a couple of things that he um Uh, put together for the galatian church as the works of the flesh and from the passion translation you know he lists out behavior of the self life uh, from galatians 5 you know, verses 9 uh, and then you know all the way through 23 covering the fruit of the spirit as well so he says um sexual immorality lustful thoughts pornography chasing after things instead of, instead of god manipulating others hatred um uh, senseless arguments resentment temper tantrums angry quarrels you know the the list doesn't sound very good however uh, these are things that he is warning the believers of and saying that it could be part of our character if we don't uh, walk with the spirit intentionally however he comes down um, you know he writes further and he says instead of these things we must demonstrate the fruit of the spirit and then So there's the list love joy peace patience kindness gentleness self control and you know uh, the list goes on so god is inviting us to have his character and represent that character to the world now if we truly examine ourselves every day you know there can be um, moments where we we want to come to god and repent of not walking in the ways of god and i just want to encourage us friends you know god's word says that uh, if we confess uh, our sins to the lord he is faithful and just to forgive us and um, for us to be revived you know one of the things is to admit that we are falling short uh, so can we just uh, cry out to the lord to help us have a christ like character let's pray together heavenly father we thank you that lord you want us to represent you in all things father and lord we pray that wherever lord we we have uh, not walked in your grace lord that you will strengthen us you will enable us and lord we we just say that lord we are sorry and that we repent oh god and father that uh, lord you would come revive us and restore us once again in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.